Hello and welcome. Today, I'd like to run through how DBMAP can assist with the government data submission process between an operator and regulator. Starting with the operator, in our scenario, we are running the DBMAP suite of software to manage master data for well seismic land rights and other information. Part of that solution includes management of physical assets and digital assets such as well logs and final well reports. The regulator is also running the same software for management of the high level structured information and digital assets. We'll explore how DBMAP can assist with managing obligations, keeping track of when they are due and what they are, and also assist with the actual data submission process. Once submitted, the operator ideally will have access to some sort of portal to validate that the submission has been successful. For today's demonstration, we'll focus on three conceptual recently drilled wells, Stratford 21, 22, 23, and we will submit a subset of structured data reports, well summary and metadata for the well reports and well logs, along with the actual unstructured data being glass files and final well reports. Okay, over to the demonstration. For starters, we'll have a look at the operator system and the map on the left is the dev map system where our new wells exist. The map on the right is an ESRI portal looking at the regulator system and obviously those wells do not yet exist in their system. So before submitting them, let's take a look through dbmap and have a look at both the unstructured and structured data. We'll start with the Stratford 21 well and drill down and have a look through the dbmap system. Firstly, the well header information will uh, pop up, but that from there we can drill down into our unstructured data, which is captured in our records management catalogue. And in this case, there are two assets for the well, a last file and a final well report. In addition to the metadata about the files, we offer tools to access the information quickly. So for a last file, we have an embedded log viewer where we can look at a graphical representation of the curve data and integrate it with other information such as formation picks. In the case of the final well report, this is a PDF and we offer an inline preview for quick access to that report. All going well, we can now focus on our structured data. In a similar manner, we will drill down into the system for this well. And for this, I'll just expand the size of the screen to see the full breadth of data in DBMAP. So once again, we've clicked on the Stratford 21 well and the well header information is presented on the right hand side. As we drill down through the system, we can see the variety of structured information that can be captured. In this case, we have captured metadata about the well logs. So using an exchange process, we have siphoned off details from the associated last file and captured the details of the curve mnemonics and statistics inside the database. Importantly, we can also access our obligations for this well based on the land right that it's associated with. And straight away, we can see that we have some overdue commitments. And this is derived real time based on rules captured in the database to reflect the local regulatory requirements and the drill date of the well. We'll close this down for now and take a look how we can submit the data. So firstly, we'll submit the structured data in government report format. So we've activated just our three wells of interest. We will go into our reports module. We will search for any government submission reports. In this case, there's only one report and it will be piped through an equivalent Excel template, which will collate the relevant data types for these wells and put it into that government specified format. We'll open up the file to see how the information has come together. Now, as this Excel sheet refreshes, you'll see these are the three key pieces of information we were submitting today, the well summary, the digital well report metadata and the digital well log metadata. And for example, I'm on the digital well log report, uh, which captures header information in the government specified format including details of the well and the depths and the name of the report and so on. Also included is the DBMAP standard well exchange format, which will make it very easy for the regulator to import directly into their system. So we'll just save this away as 
an Excel shape. And now we can focus on the unstructured data component. So once again, starting here for our three worlds of interest, we can cross-reference our records management module. This will collate all of the digital assets for those three worlds. And one method of submitting them is to add them to our shopping cart and then download from the shopping cart as a zip file and submit to the regulator. Uh, in my case, I have got a copy of the operator files on the filing system and I'll instead copy and paste those into the equivalent of a Dropbox for the regulator so that these unstructured data files will be copied automatically into the regulator system. Okay, while that's happening, let's take a look from the regulator's perspective. So here we have their existing DBmap system and the worlds have not yet been loaded. Uh, assuming that those reports have been submitted by email or a Dropbox or some other means, one method is to import them using DBMAP exchange options. So in this case, we're looking at the world header, importing the file that we saved away. Okay, and this looks successful. It has created three new world headers. So we should be able to visualize those on the map. I'll just change the colors to force uh, the cache to update. Okay, and we have our three new worlds in the regulator system. From here, the regulator has exactly the same workflow as the operator. They can drill down through the system to look through the, the well header and the unstructured data, which is currently being copied over in the background. Okay, let's have a look back from the operator's perspective. And now if we refresh the portal map, we should be able to see those wells are now showing up as being received by the regulator. And this means in the DBMAP system, we can go back into the wells module, back down to our obligations, and we can sign off on these commitments. So for example, our well completion report, we have fulfilled our commitment today and validated via portal that data has been received. So we've signed off <coughs> on that commitment or obligation uh, as we would for the other items for each of the wells. So now DBMAP captures the fact that we've met our obligations um, for a historical look back. To conclude, what we have shown today is a DBMAP system which allows us to master our structured data, well, seismic, land right, and other information. The obligations module helps us track what the obligations are, when they are due, um, what is yet to be submitted. And our exchange options through reporting system allows us to exchange both structured data such as well headers and other uh, structured data via reports in government specified format. We didn't really cover the classification system today, but in terms of the unstructured data, uh, the, the system can be set up to reflect the same classification system um, in both the operator and regulator systems. In terms of the ESRI portal that we demonstrated today, this is using a web feature service uh, using GeoJSON, layers served by DBMAT Web, which also is existing capability. However, there are security requirements we would need to assess um, before commissioning uh, this sort of system into a production environment. Before signing off, just wanted to go back to the regulator system and drill back down into our new roles and into our unstructured system. And there we have our unstructured data files, which have been automatically copied over, catalogued and assigned to our new roles. Okay, well, thank you very much for your attention, sir. Goodbye.